Sierra Center, the CNLM, as uh, the nation's first interdisciplinary nutritional neuroscience center. The Center for Nutrition Learning and Memory is a, a public-private partnership between University of Illinois and Abbott Nutrition, uh, designed, brought into being in order to address the question of how nutrition might help enhance learning and memory, restore cognitive function, maintain cognitive function across the lifespan. It's centered on two big interdisciplinary institutes, the Beckman Institute for Advanced Science and Technology and the Institute for Genomic Biology. This partnership is ideal in the fact that we, it allows us to couple the talent and the basic science that we have at the University of Illinois with some of the capabilities that we have at Abbott. What Abbott is interested in is translating the science, and what we want to do is be able to translate that science rapidly. So it was important for us to, uh, as part of the center, to develop the most powerful and sensitive tools we can of brain function so we can see changes in brain function, of brain structure and the connection among regions in the brain, of memory and learning and other aspects of cognition. We are working on a, a system that allows us to image the brain by using light. Uh, so most uh, brain imaging methods trade off between space and time. So either they tell you where the activity in the brain occurs or when it occurs. The method we have developed allows us to look at timing and space at the same time. The method is called diffuse optical imaging and the specific technique in relation to that is the event-related optical signal or arrows. We are recording in response to events like sounds or pictures that a baby, for example, might listen to or look at. And, and so you, you basically, it's event related because it's the response of the brain related to that event. Uh, we develop mass spectrometry based tools. And so we have approaches where we can take a very small sample, as small as a single cell, and characterize several thousand compounds that are in that. And so since different neurons are different, they can have different molecules that, uh, because of their different roles in memory or behavior, we can take a, a mass spectrum of a single cell and tell you what's in it. So what we're doing now is actually combining our studies of molecules like serotonin, dopamine, and neuropeptides uh, with changes in nutritional state and uh, nutritional supplements to understand how they all work together. My lab, we use mice as a model organism and um, we basically have feeding trials with these mice, where the mice are fed different um, diets, and then we measure them on um, their ability to solve learning and memory type tasks, and we study their brains. For example, one of the tasks we use is the Morris water maze. It's just an open tub of water um, where the water is rendered opaque with uh, a non-toxic paint so that the animal can't see through it. And the reason is because there's a platform hidden right below the surface of the water. What you can see over the days is the animals take shorter paths and make it to that platform quicker. And what we're looking for is whether there's certain dietary treatments that can steepen the learning curve. Our management at Abbott asked us to think about doing research a little bit differently. What they wanted us to do was step outside the box. So what we decided to do is uh, approach this from an open innovation standpoint. Each year we have an annual solicitation for funds where we describe the sorts of projects we, we might be interested in funding and then teams of investigators come together and apply for funding through the CNLM. But, so the idea of partnering is something we, we find really powerful and we, we strongly encourage. And then the other piece is all of our research is team-based at every level. I think the, the most fun part of being a CNLM investigator is being part of a community. Uh, this broad ability to study uh, the same type of nutritional interventions across a broad range of animals using a broad range of techniques gives us much more robust answers and allows us to address and answer uh, broader questions than any individual group could otherwise. It's very exciting to be able to work with, with these uh, multiple investigators. Not to mention, we all, I also have our work in working with the uh, scientists from Abbott Nutrition, which is something that I would never have been able to do otherwise. It's all about the people. It's all about people who are passionate about their work and give them the capability to run with it, give them the resources to succeed, and what can be accomplished is amazing.